Ay, I like bitch who is your ass, ay Can't keep my dick in my pants, ay My bitch don't love me no more, ay She kick me out on life, bro What's up guys, 450 Rets here And I'm making another video It's gonna be a uh, how to uh, make a homemade spark arrestor for your dirt bike so you don't have to go online and buy pay 30 bucks for one this is just simple you just need 10 bucks go down to ace hardware and this is uh all the stuff that you're gonna need you're probably gonna need uh, a rivet gun to put rivets in uh rivets one of these screens right here this is actually gonna be the spark arrestor or the spark screen that you're gonna use and uh to get the rivets out you can use a hammer with a flathead screwdriver. I don't know where mine went. It's somewhere around here. First thing you want to do is get uh, your Allen wrenches here. Shit, it's hard filming this. And then take out one, two, three, four bolts to get this cap off. Once you unscrew those, you should be able to take your cap off. Once you take your cap off, just set it somewhere. And then if you don't have a spark arrestor, you'll be able to see it. But I have a sp like an old spark arrestor right here. Here's my old one. That's what I think about it. Now that's when this comes in right here. This is for actually for showers and like bathtubs and stuff. But I saw it and I was like, Psh, dude. It's a spark arrestor for three dollars. This is, I don't know if it'll actually work as a real spark arrestor and actually block flames and block debris coming out of your exhaust. But I know if a park ranger comes up and looks at it, he'll be like, oh yeah, you have a spark arrestor and that'll save you 750 bucks or something here in California. So, bolt that thing. You want to get the screen here. Put it where the, where the normal spark arrestor would be. And this is kind of, kind of a tricky part. Let's see if I can get it. Grab my Allen's. So you place the, the screen in there like it's a spark arrestor, and then you have to place, you have to place it just right because if you put it under like this, you won't be able to bolt uh, the other bolts in. So I use my Allen's like this, if I can get it, and move it up. So it gives me just enough clearance. To, uh, to get the bolts in. So I'm gonna get this bolted on. So I'm just saying right now, this is not a real spark arrestor. Like, it'll last you maybe 10 to 15 hours of riding time. It's not gonna last that long. Then you're gonna have to replace the net. But, um, Justin just came through. Was good. Um, so it's just kind of like a, a thing. So if a ranger comes up and asks you if you have a spark arrestor, you could just say, yeah, you do have one. But it's not a real one, so. Good. All right, so now we got this other stuff on. Now we're going to put the rivets in. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like nine on my exhaust. Just keep going. So it's super simple, you just put it in, <clears throat> press it, go back down again, go oh, press it again, and then it should break off, this is an awkward position. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. Yeah, like that. That almost hit my face. <laughs> what? That almost hit my face. And then your rivet should, should look like those two right there. Pretty good looking rivets. All right, once you have your rivets in, all of them around the exhaust, then you have the thing bolted on the cap. Then you should have the screen in, your new custom fucking spark arrestor so you won't get a $700 ticket. And I'm gonna start my bike up right now and see how it sounds. Smell that? Fuck.
And there you have it, folks. A homemade spark arrestor.